men and women of American industry, Assistant Secretary of War for Air Robert A. Lovett, and Under Secretary of War Robert P. Patterson, in charge of the entire Army production program, send this report of attack by military aircraft. The information it contains, never disclosed before this photographic communique, has to do with an Army bomber of the second bombardment group operating under Navy offshore patrol orders in May 1942 off our east central coast. The tanker Delia B weight 10,000 tons, crew complement 43, cargo oil 18,000 barrels. Port of embarkation, Houston, Texas. Destination, the bottom of the Atlantic. SOS, Delia B, attacked by enemy submarine. Longitude, 70 degrees, 41 minutes west. Attacked by enemy submarine. Take necessary action. Yes, sir. Attack by enemy submarine. Control flights, destroyer patrols in area two. Take necessary action. All commercial shipping in area two. Proceed against the nearest power. Army bomber 112783, one of hundreds of planes flying routine patrols off American shores, day in, day out, a dull job. Nothing happens until it happens so fast you hardly realize it's happening. Average altitude, 2,500 feet. Mission to challenge all shipping. Between challenges, the crew strains its eyes, endlessly searching for a periscope, a telltale wake, some sign of the tinfish. Submarine, sir. Give me the course. Here's Pete, sir. 220. Six men and an army bomber. Men from California, Michigan, New York, Texas, Kansas, Ohio. Picked men, trained, toughened. A smoothly functioning part of the ship they fly. Course, 270 degrees. 270. Speed is the vital factor in this phase of the operation, more vital than in any other form of warfare. Speed produced by powerful twin engines. If they fail, the mission fails. Speed, its deep source in the sweat, the skill, the heart of American labor. Our bomber flies on the momentum of their combined efforts. Iron, aluminum, copper, nickel, metals that make up the 8,000 more parts in each of our bomber's engines. In fires rising hot, but no hotter than America's fighting temper. 8,000 parts to be assembled within 48 hours into a single dynamic unit. The parts are first joined in minor assembly. These in turn grow into larger ones as they move under knowing hands. And now for the final crucial temperature test, the trial by fire. From idling to full power, the engine is run for seven hours under the most grueling conditions. Its performing characteristics are carefully noted in temperatures up to 1,000 degrees. This engine is a good one. Well up to the job it is doing. Speed, better than 300 miles per hour of it. Speed, the engines have it to give. Can our bomber take it? Was it conceived, designed, constructed to support such tremendous power? How strong is its fuselage and wings in withstanding the combined forces of engine vibration, gravity and air pressure? Is there any weakness anywhere? Our bomber is proving the quality of the men and women whose work went into it. Some 50 designers, each a specialist in his own particular field, planned our bomber. A veritable river of metal is divided into sheets according to dimensional specifications. For shipping to the factory where our bomber was shaped by drop handles into ribs, skin surfaces, instrument frames, engine cowlings, all its myriad features from nose to tail. Joint its his commands to every operating point of the ship. The 
The entire power unit is connected at only four points to the ship itself, points less than an inch in diameter. But their combined strength must be measured. It's a good ship, honest from its insides out. It can take it all right. Machine gunning lifeboats. That means the tin fish has surfaced, and like all fish out of water, is doomed if it remains there too long. We are approaching longitude 70 degrees 41 minutes west, latitude 32 degrees 06 minutes north, and we have the speed to get us there on time. But speed alone is not enough. Speed can only carry us blindly. Speed cannot bring us unerringly to the scene of action. 268 degrees. 268. Take her down to 500. 500. Women are good at the job of making these instruments. Delicacy work with wires finer than threads. Coil springs scarcely more than spirals of light. Polished surfaces to a satin smoothness. Adjust microscopic screws to hair breadth exactness. Here, there can be no compromise with perfection. These instruments do more than measure. They point their delicately precise needles to American life or death. Bombay doors. Open Bombay door. Prepare to bomb. Prepare to bomb. Submarine bombing demands greater accuracy than any other. It calls for an almost direct hit in order to be effective. That takes nerve, skill, perfect coordination. That takes split-second timing, deadly aim. mission has been accomplished. Good work, pilot. Co-pilot. Bombardier. Navigator. 